in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to reduce the size of large AutoCAD files. Uh, the reason that happens, I think, I'm not 100% certain, is because something either gets exported from another CAD program and open up uh, into AutoCAD, uh, or something gets inserted into the AutoCAD drawing. So have a look at this uh, drawing I have up here. It, uh, it says it's 10.3 megabytes, which is quite large, uh, particularly for this type of drawing, considering uh, that's basically the only thing in this drawing at the moment. Um, we have some layout tabs, and I'm going to show you something. So this problem that persists. So first thing I'm going to do is grab all these tabs, and I'm going to delete them. Go back to model space. I'm going to open up the XREF window, XR, and then enter. I'm going to detach this XREF, and then I'm going to type PU for purge, and then purge all. Now if I save that and go back, you can see that it's only gone to 9.8 megabytes and there's basically nothing in that drawing now. Um, the other thing we could try is the, uh, the purge command with the uh, minus sign in the front and then in there you can type uh, R and basically what we're getting rid of is registered apps. Uh, press enter again and then type N and then enter. As you see it's deleted 38 registered applications. Okay, that sometimes helps but we go back, we're still pretty much uh, moved only about 2 kilobytes, so 9.8, so okay, so the way I'd go about this I'm going to undo everything I've just done, so I'm going to hold down the U key and press enter, alright so, we'll go back and we'll save that again have a look, we've gone back to the 10.3 meg alright, so this is a way to get around it at the command prompt type DXF out, and press enter it's going to ask you to save the um, the file as a DXF file somewhere and it should just open up in the folder we're already in. So I'm just going to click save. Okay. Now we're going to go to our folder. We can see the DXF file. You can see it's come down a couple of meg almost. And now let's open up the DXF. We're going to do DXF out again. And this time we'll just uh, put A. doesn't really matter what you put. Okay. And we'll go back and we can see it's come down to 5.4 meg. Now what I'm going to do is one more time we're going to open up that drawing. And what I might do, okay, let's see if I've got the other drawing still open, I'll do. So I'm going to close this uh, this drawing. Okay, that was the original um, AutoCAD DWG drawing. And we'll close this one too, that was the second DXF, or well, the first DXF, sorry. Alright, so this is the last DXF we opened. Uh, the SK1A1 and that's about 5 meg so we'll click save and then we'll just save over that original uh, SK1 DWG drawing so from DXF to D DWG again and let's click yes and let's have a look so we've come down to 2.3 meg so that was originally you can see above there there was the .BAK file it was 10 meg we've come down to 2.3 from here what we need to do is we can purge some things out you can choose what you want to purge out I'll start with the blocks. So we'll purge all. Um, well, we can just do it one at a time. Depends on how much you want to get rid of. So we're coming down to 1.1, just getting rid of the blocks. So I'll type uh, purge again, and we can get rid of the uh, dimension styles. Uh, perhaps we'll get rid of the line types that we're not using, and textiles. Okay, I'll, I'll leave the layers because there might be some layers in there that you, you may want to keep, but we'll just get rid of those things for now. Click save again, and we'll come down to 592 kilobytes. Now I'm pretty sure it'll come down a little bit more if I uh, delete the layers, but that's that's a pretty good figure to come down from just over 10 megabytes down to 592 kilobytes. Um, so yeah, basically the method is you're exporting to a DXF file, we're doing that twice, then we're opening up the second DXF file, saving it as the drawing, and then just purging out the bits we don't need. Um, so hopefully you find that helpful. Um, I've, yeah, I find I get a few drawings every now and then like that, so uh, it's a very ha handy thing to do.